So welcome to the second video. In this video, we're going to be looking at how you get started to edit your video. And also then we're going to have a look a little bit at the workspace and all the different things you can do. If you want to make a new video, you click here on the video button and then it will take you to the workspace. Uh, but first, what you've got to do is choose the format. So horizontal is 16 by 9. Now that's a ratio. It means that whatever size the video is shown, the Ratio of the width to the height is 16 to 9. Vertical is the opposite of that, and square is 1 to 1, of course. So we want horizontal because we're making a horizontal video. So I click on the Start Editing button. Now this, if you've ever used iMovie before, is very similar to iMovie. My video, you see here at the top, that's where you currently are. Below, you've got all these different options. You've got Stock Media. That's basically pre-made media that you can just add into your video. You can't do that if you're using the free version. My media, of course, is all the stuff that you recorded. And you can see right here, this is all the stuff that I'm going to use in my videos. Text. Now, there's motion text. That's um, something you only can use if you've got the upgraded the plan where you have to pay for it. There's one called In Season, which is also one you have to pay for. That's things like Happy Birthday and all those kind of seasonal things like Christmas, etc. Now, the two bottom ones you can use in the free version. Those are static titles where you can just have a non-moving title and also call-outs where you can use a colored arrow or a, or a speech bubble of some kind or you can outline something in a color to draw attention to it. You can use audio clips, there's free music, there are sound effects you can choose from, you can play around with those on your own time, and there's also premium music, and because it's premium music, you can only use that in the version that you pay for. What you've also got are the transitions, crossfade, crossblur, cross zoom, all the different ways of transitioning between different clips if you want to do that, and then also you've got some different background options. Now, I want to warn you to be really, really, really careful about how you use backgrounds and transitions and text, because you can make your movie look horrible and ridiculous and ugly. Or if you use them very subtly and not very much, you can make it look very sophisticated. We have here down the bottom, these are the tracks. So if I have a clip that I want to put into my movie, then I just take the clip, I drag it, I put it on the, one of the video timelines, you can see they're called video one, video two. And then from there, I can edit that to make it as long as I want it to be and to only include the part that I want. We'll talk about that more later. Over here in the uh, preview window, you can see um, you've got the play button, the reverse button, the fast forward button. You've got this over here, which allows you to play full screen and then You've got these choices here, which are the original format choices that you chose before. I wouldn't touch that at all if I was you. If you want to bring in more uh, clips, if you realize you're missing something, you're in the middle of editing, you went and quickly recorded something, you've got it on your computer, and you want to import it without going back, well, you can just hit this button here, Import Media, and then it basically brings you to that same Importing Media dialog box that we talked about before in the previous video. If you want to actually record something on the camera of your computer, you can do that. And if you want to do a voiceover and you want to narrate your video, you can do that directly into WeVideo. These are the different ways that you can view your media. So for example, if I want to do that, I can have it as a list or I can have it as a grid like I had it before. I can sort them by type and I can sort them by date, duration, size, etc. The other thing you need to know about is this little slider down here. This is basically a way for you to zoom in and zoom out of the timeline. Now, if you look at this little clip that I've got on my timeline here right now, if I drag my slider across, you can see that it seems to grow. Zooming in like this allows me much more easily to find the exact point that I want to cut my video at. So this is a really useful thing to know. Use it if you want to do some real fine cutting. So that's the overview of the main functions of the editing part of WeVideo. We'll talk in more detail about how to use them in the next series of videos.